Hello and welcome back. Uh, I retired from work a year ago and I also obtained a pressure sore and I was in and out of three different hospitals and I still got uh, another three months to go before I'm healed up. Uh, I lost half my body weight. I went from 140 pounds down to 70 pounds and I managed to put 20 pounds back on. So as you can probably tell, I'm a little skinny, but that's okay. I've got my pound puppy here, Max, to keep me company. It's been a long and hard road since I retired from work. Retirement is supposed to be for fun and enjoying yourself, but for the first year it's been very, very tough. Uh, I was in OSU hospital and then I went to another hospital called specialty care and from there I went back to OSU hospital and from there I went to a place called Wesley Glen. It was a nursing home in which I was there for physical therapy and to use what they call an anodyne in order to uh, help uh, heal up the pressure sore. I didn't think it was that bad. Uh, I obtained it. I, I retired from work on August 31st and the same day I gave a fundraising speech for Creative Living, a place I used to live. I moved from there but I'll get to that in just a few minutes. I moved out of there and in, into a suburb and which I like much much better. I'm away from downtown, I'm away from the campus area and I'm away from prying eyes. So anyway uh, I was the youngest person in the nursing home but I had to be there in order to come down from all the medication that I've been taking. Uh, I hadn't taken so much medication in all my life and in the last year I've taken many different type of drugs that put me into a coma for two weeks and then when I woke up from the coma I was able to uh, blink my eyes to yes and no questions and now that I'm down off all that medication I can uh, speak a little clearer my body's becoming more uh, attuned to this pressure sore my van is uh, in the shop getting some repairs done as you can probably see from the video below I got a new van uh, I like it uh, very much and uh, I'll be driving and enjoying myself uh, I've on some new programs I've got um, retirement benefits from uh, the company that I worked for and I'm also got Medicare and Medicaid spend down so my income uh, is fine it's just that I've been in bed for the last nine months and will be in bed for another three months trying to pick up weight and letting this pressure sore heal up. So attention all quads. I saw that from uh, Chris Caldwell and uh, um, it's very pertinent. I went 29 years post injury without a pressure sore or 28 years and uh, in the last year it's just been rough it's been hell and it's aging with the disability I've also been diagnosed with diabetes and uh, high cholesterol of which I've uh, had taken care of uh, I never never thought I'd ever be uh, in this condition but uh, it's it's a miracle that I've lived uh, 29 years past uh, my injury and I feel good because I've taken care of myself and to have this happen right as I was retiring from work was just an incredible thing so again as you can see uh, life's been rough for the last year but I anticipate that I will be back up in another three months and running around and I need to get out and do some things to enjoy myself uh, I've got a new van uh, again as I said it's in the video prior to this one and uh, so uh, 
aging with a disability is just not fun. Aging is not fun, but aging with a disability is even worse. So I grew myself a nice beard. It's uh, got uh, a little gray in it, which does show my age, even though uh, a lot of people say I look younger. I don't feel younger. I feel older, but I guess that's just the way it is. So 29 and 29 makes 58. And uh, I don't know how many more years I have to live. Uh, I didn't think I was going to survive this year, but I have. And I'm happy. My finances are in order. Uh, I've got the people to take care of me. Uh, I have no worries. Uh, I have a power of attorney that looks after my affairs, so all I have to do is heal, and um, life is just a bowl of cherries, as it were, for a crippled up uh, man of my age and self-esteem, as it were. And people go, you're such a strong individual, uh, I could never do that. Well, you know, I have a hard time dealing with this. And I was reading Lucille Ball's uh, sayings the other day, and she said, it's not, and I agree with what she said, it's not that uh, uh, I, I'm dealing with it, it's just that I'm brave. And being brave and handling this is what my life has come to. So, anyway, I wanted to put up a video so that uh, people could see what I look like now. And uh, hopefully I'll put on another 10 pounds or so. I'll never gain the weight back that I was. Uh, which is fine with me because I was a little too heavy anyways. But to lose half my body weight and to gain diabetes, of which I take daily insulin shots, uh, is uh, just uh, a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> However, uh, I'm making it. And... Uh, if you have any questions or remarks or comments, leave them below. And other quadriplegics who are uh, in similar conditions, leave a comment. Uh, tell me how you're handling your aging with your disability, with your quadriplegic. Uh, a person said several years ago that I would not live five years past my uh, disability because of my wild and wicked ways. but Boy, did I ever fool that person wrong. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing some other videos. I'm going to try to go up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It happens to be in my state. It's nice to have things like that close by. When I lived in California, I had uh, the beach and the mountains and the desert close by. When I lived in between Los Angeles and San Bernardino, in a place called Cucamonga, then now known as Rancho Cucamonga, but that's another story for another video and for another time. So here I am, half my weight, uh, diabetes under control, uh, pressure sore, uh, almost healed up. It was a large one. It was down to the bone. And uh, it uh, put me into a stupor for a while. But again, I had good people taking care of me, so I had no worries. Okay, uh, we'll do this again. Uh, I just wanted to post uh, a video up here because it's been a while and uh, some of the videos that I have been posting have been taped that I've had over the last couple of years but I, again I wanted people to see what I look like now and that I'm handling it okay and uh, quadriplegics man do what you gotta do to survive just be brave handling it do what you can. Just be brave. Okay? And with that I say, good luck. And stay sane.